Hi, everyone. Welcome to Wikipedia Weekly during Wikimania. Uh, we're joined today by, uh, by our friends from Open Foundation West Africa, giving a uh, presentation on, uh, on local holidays and uh, founders and uh, writing contests. So I'd like to introduce Ruby. Welcome, Ruby. Hi, my name is Ruby, and I'm part of the OFWA team. That's Open Foundation West Africa. I'm here with my colleague, Jesse. Jesse? Yeah, hi, everyone. My name is Jesse, and the committee knows me as Jay Wally, and I'm a training associate for Open Foundation West Africa. Yeah. OK, so today we're here to um, show you how you can um, campaign organizers can leverage on local holidays as a topical campaign to bridge the knowledge gap on Wikipedia. And we also want to highlight a case study that we did with Founders Day and the impact that um, the campaign yielded. Um, um, as you can see on the screen, um, these are two pictures of a particular um, holiday that has been celebrated in in Ghana. And what comes into mind when you see these images? For instance, the one on your right, on your on my left hand shows some sort of um, Christmas tree. And most of us know what Christmas is, but um, and then when we come to the one on my right, you would see um, Muslim spring. And usually um, they come together to pray during um, very like Muslim festivals or um, celebrations such as the Eid celebrations. Um, what we want to say is that um, every action in the world is only useful or impactful if one has sufficient information about it. And if there are no sufficient information about it, that activity loses its significance and others are not able to appreciate the value it adds to beautifying our world. And so having enough information about a particular holiday helps other people to appreciate and also add value to it. So um, what, why are we here today? Today we are here to showcase the importance of highlighting or um, taking advantage of local holidays to run campaigns that um, close knowledge gap, especially on Wikipedia. We want to also highlight how it can be adapted and also we want to show you how we, we did this before and how it has worked and the impact that it also yielded using the Founders Day Ghana Writing Context as a case study. So when we come to Ghana, um, there are a number of holidays, more than 20 holidays that are observed in Ghana. And um, you realize that some of these holidays uh, are either local holidays or something that is connected to the, the, the governments. For instance, the Constitution Day was celebrated on the 7th of January. And other holidays cut across the, the, the region, which is Africa or beyond. So we have the Labor Day, we have the African Union Day, and then we also have religious holidays such as Christmas holiday, Eid holiday, and so on and so forth. So all these categories are different kinds of um, holidays that have been observed. And <clears throat> with many of these holidays that are being celebrated all around the world, um, for, for most of us, holidays are just like sort of time to rest, time to connect with family, friends, have fun, relax, and others, there are times to give thanks or share gifts. But what we might not know or think about this um, holidays is that is the many stories that are behind these holidays and how um, they carry so much significance, and which uh, most of us may not be preview to the stories behind these holidays. And so building um, a campaign around local occurrences or holidays such as this that are <clears throat> um, or activities that are meaningful to people um, can be very inspirational and sometimes create um, the needed um, edge 
inform these people to utilize um, locally relevant topics in content creation. And so when you run campaigns to commemorate, for instance, heroes, heroines of a country or history of a nation or general celebrations that depict um, our culture, um, these can be the local populace or the local people um, as these are content that they have knowledge about and are interested in naturally because um, it's something that has to do with them or connects with them naturally. It also helps to increase visibility because once people are feels like, oh, this has something to, to do with me or to do with where I come from, um, everybody in the country tend to relate or even remember um, it easily. And then in the end, we we able to generate content around that particular topic to bridge knowledge gaps on Wikipedia. So um, we want to show you how you can go about this. So um, what to note when choosing a holiday for your campaign? So one thing that is important for you to know when choosing a holiday for your campaign is to identify the theme of the campaign. It's so important because each holiday or which each whichever occurrences that you want to run your holiday it has a particular theme behind it and so for instance you want to do something around gender you want to do something about around human right you want to do something around um, women or geogra geography you need to identify the theme and secondly you need to define the context of your campaign so you would ask yourself which people are your target audience or participants for this campaign? Is it going to be a country-wide campaign? Is it going to be a regional campaign or a global campaign? It will inform you on the right holiday to use to run. Because um, for instance, if I want to do something on um, legal informations and I want to do use, um, let's say, um, Constitutional Day in Ghana. It's not a global thing. I mean, Constitutional Day in Ghana is just celebrated in Ghana. So maybe I just want to target just Ghana. So you will need to identify which level, whether you're going to do it just restricted to your country, you want to do it for the region or a global campaign. You need to find a suitable holiday that aligns with the theme of the campaign. So. Um, once you find, um, um, you've identified um, the holiday, you need to find, um, sorry, once you identify the theme that you want to do, you need to find the kind of holiday that would match well with the theme. You need to also check if there are many topics that can be generated from that holiday. So in order to um, be able to generate significant content about um that particular um, theme or around that particular holiday, you need to sit down and analyze how many top topics can come out of um, this particular holiday that I'm choosing. So for instance, um, there's, there's a celebration about Mother's Day. So if someone wants to bridge um, content about women and wants to use an innovative way like Mother's Day holiday to run a campaign for women to bridge women gap, we want to know Okay, so which, how many women do, which kinds of women do we want to write about? You can list a whole lot of tof topics, Let's maybe, maybe women in technology, women in acrylic, women in um, different, different fears to be able to bridge knowledge gap about um, women using Mother's Day. So, um, one of the reasons that inspired us so much to choose um, Founders Day Ghana Writing Contest because um, Founders, Founders Day um, Ghana Writing Contest is, um, was um, gotten out of the Founders Day holiday celebration in Ghana, which is usually celebrated on the 4th of August. And this holiday, uh, and we chose Founders the Ghana Writing Contest because it cuts across a lot of topics such as the history of Ghana, the culture, the people, activities that happened prior to Ghana's independence. And there are a whole lot of stories 
um, and activities that happened, which we thought that it was a very good opportunity. Um, we also thought about the creative art industry at that time because the creative art industry played a significant role in uh, uh, proud to Ghana's independent. And there were a lot of songs that were sung, such as that of E.T. Mensa and Co. And there were bands that sp spoke to um, Ghana's liberation as at that time. And we also want, we thought that this also can cut across topics of nat national in interest. And so this was like a perfect um, kind of holiday that we could generate a whole lot of information um, on Wikipedia to bridge the knowledge gap about Ghana. So, and doing so, there were different kinds of strategies that we adopted and which I'd like to share with you. The first was that we partnered with um, the Ministry of Information, POW, a year before the launch of the campaign, and this was so important. And we, we partnered with the Ministry of Information because we we saw that this was something that was of national interest and they could connect or buy into that vision. And so we had a successful partnership with the support from the Ministry of Information um, to run this campaign. We also partnered with iconic people, people that are well known in the country, people that are influential and also um, have very good impact in our society and these people um, added their voice and so we put all these videos together to form a campaign video that um, yielded very significant um, um, interest and um, to, to the youth or to anyone who saw it. We also deployed um, various campaign tactics and um, some of the campaign tactics that um, we deployed was that we thought that we would not only focus on English Wikipedia as we've done previously in other campaign. We thought that the aspect of language was <clears throat> was also very important. And so um, we had a session where which was dedicated to languages where people could contribute in their local languages on Wikipedia. That's translating existing article that speaks to the team to increase. Um, the visibility of these content online. And also we encourage people to share images that spoke to the theme. We also created a campaign landing page and the campaign landing page was so important because um, with the campaign landing page, it provided a one-stop shop, more like sort of, and where people can have every information that they needed um, <clears throat> about the campaign. This included the description of the campaign, why it's important for them to understand or to participate in this campaign. It also included frequently asked questions. It also included um, virtual office hours where they could um, join and be helped and also included the campaign video and, uh, and anything that um, was important. And also videos on how to um, write articles or create a Wikipedia account and all that in the dashboard to sign up. So this was very helpful as it provided everything that people need, unless it was so technical, they would reach out to us um, through the virtual office hours. Um, so this campaign was so impactful and that motivated us to launch the Africa Wiki Challenge and partnership um, in connection with the African Union Day, which is <clears throat> also a, 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 a regional holiday for Africa. And it's also yielded great impact, as you can see on the image. Um, we had other African countries um, also um, organizing this campaign in their countries, and it was very awesome, and we're looking forward to um, greater impact next year. Um, I will leave the second section to um, Jesse to tell us about um, the outcome of the Founders Day, the impact of the Founders Day on the wider context. Thank you. Thank you. Can you go to the next slide? Okay. Okay, so um, at the end of the campaign, this was the outcome that we had. We had about uh, had a number of people or volunteers participating in this campaign or competition. And we are able to come up with 
articles or content that under normal circumstances wouldn't be found on Wikipedia when you go and search for them. So we had articles like the Katamanso War, the um, Gold Coast Artillery Force, the Kulungiji bomb attack, and more. Take, looking at the Katamanso War, is one significant war that happened in the past in 1854, where and the guns and the gun dangbe and the Ashantis fought. And the you know during the past the Ashantis were very dominant concerning war, but through the Katamansu war, the gun dangbe won over them. So you know these are things that if it were weren't to be the contest, wouldn't be able to get this kind of articles on Wikipedia. Please can you go to the next slide? Okay, so the outcome of the campaign, we had about over 400 articles created throughout um, some languages that we were, were looking up to. So we had English languages, we had Akan language, we had the Gan language, and we had the Hausa language. Also, we had 348,000 references made available during the competition, and also 280 images were um, made available or uploaded to Wikipedia. And we trained over 50 people during the campaign, which is very significant because those 50 people that we trained are also going to train other people, are also going to tell other people about the campaign, which will be uh, which will be coming up the following year when the campaign starts again. Yeah. So this is very sig significant to us. Yeah, can you please go on to the next one? Yeah. So for the for the winners of the campaign, uh, participants or volunteers who were able to come up well to write good content, um, compete, compete very well, were awarded with this kind of prizes. We, we had a laptop, we had tablet, we had a hard drive, and we had souvenirs and certificates available for participants who were included in the top 10. And you know, this is kind of significant for us because it, it motivates them, you know, it motivates the volunteers so that when it comes to this kind of contest next year, they will also put in much more effort to um, compete in this competition. You know, basically the whole idea is to get to the sum of all human knowledge available at a place whereby future generations will come and see whatever is being available. Because if you don't, if you are not able to um, write or make those content available, how will the generation that are coming know what existed? So we, it, it, it's an onus upon us, as Wikipedians or Wikimedians around the world, either locally or internationally, to be able to, to contribute to make the world a better place. Next slide, please. Yeah, so thank you very much. And I'll leave, I'll leave it over to Ruby to continue. To share something. Um, this presentation was insightful enough, especially campaign organizers can be innovative around some of these um, topics to run their campaigns. Thank you. If, if there are questions, you're free to ask and then we will get back to you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Them. Okay, so there are some comments that are coming. Okay, so come in, please. Thank you. <laughs> okay. okay, so there, there are, there are, we have yeah. our table in the Romania conference um, in, on a uh, remote. So we are on uh, building one, um, floor, floor three, uh, table one. So you can go to that table and we'll have a conversation. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So let's meet. Thank, thank you. Uh, I guess I, I, I might, I, I might we chime also in. Want, okay, go ahead. We also want to thank Wikipedia Weekly for hosting us. We're so glad and really appreciate it. If, if, uh, if it's okay, if I, if I could ask a question, what, what holidays are you thinking of, uh, of next? Are there any other good holidays, uh, Ghanaian holidays or regional holidays or, or, you know, or global holidays that you might, might try for your next campaign? Okay, so the next holiday, uh, as the Independence Day, 
that's that the independence water. So we engage volunteers during the independence day. That's when um, the first president of Ghana gave independence for, for Ghana. So that campaign is um, that the independence day to us to encourage uh, volunteers, editors, writers to be able to write content related to the history of Ghana's independence, basically. I think Ruby has something to say concerning that. No, I think Jesse, you said it all. And so, well, there are a number of holidays, and um, I think all of us as Wikipedians can innovate around it to bridge content gap because um, the people get to connect more um, with something that they have already knowledge about. And some of these holidays already connects with people. And so it, it gives increased visibility for some of the campaigns that we run. So it's it's very important. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, most yeah. holidays are, are one day, but sometimes, you know, you want a, a longer campaign. Uh, how, how, how long do you make your campaigns? Are they a week? Are they two weeks? Are they one month long? Or is it just one day? Okay, so we don't do it a day. We do it a month. So, for instance, this Founders Day, Ghana Rights in Context, is uh, on in August. So we dedicate the whole month of August to commemorate um, the holiday by creating content on, on it. And most of our campaigns have last roughly like a month. Yeah, but unless otherwise, if you feel the need to extend the holiday, um, I mean, the campaign beyond a month, that's okay. But if you just want to do it a few weeks, that's okay. All, all depend on what you're looking for and the impact that you seek to make. Yeah. Thanks. Are your, um, are your, your, is your, is your con contest across different languages or is it a cross trade mostly on one, one, one language? Yes, it's across different languages. So. Um, for Founders Day, because it's just related to Ghana, because, I mean, nobody else has that holiday like we have on the 4th of August, which is dedicated to Founders Day. Um, so what we do, we, we do it is that we also encourage the creation of context in local language, local Ghanaian languages like Ewe, um, Ga, um, Akan, which are already on uh, Wikipedia, Dagbani, and uh, I don't know, yeah, Hausa, yes. Hausa. Yeah, so we had contributions from all these languages um, during our Founders Day Ghana Writing Contest last year. And this year, we've already launched a Founders Day Ghana Writing Contest. So just to let you know, Founders Day Ghana Writing Contest is still ongoing for this year and will end on the 31st of August. So those of you who are interested, just Google Founders Day Ghana Writing Contest. You see our website, the campaign website, and then you're free to join. We are on Meta as well. And so there are all the information that you need to do are on there or visit our website www.ofwafrica.org and go to campaigns and then you'll see it. Yeah, pretty so much. Of the language, I want to say something about the language. Um, every competition we organize or every campaign we organize is very significant to language. Now we can see that the ecosystem of Wikipedia or the Wikimedia society is growing and language has become key and significant in whatever we are doing. If you, if, you, if you are not able to write in a language, how can people in other languages understand a country or understand the history of a country? So sometimes some of our competition are open to um, any language in Iran because we, we, are, we, are, we are Wikipedians or we are Wikimedians. And what we do is what we sell knowledge. And knowledge can't exist in only one scoop or one gap. It has to be broad. So basically, we, are, we accept every language in our, um, in our community. But if um, it's related to a local, if it's a local context, then probably we take only local languages. But we are open to any language to, um, in our competition or context because we are looking at the broad picture. And also, we are looking at the strategic movement of the organization. So we are, not, we are not looking down, we are looking up because of the strategic movement of the organization, basically. So within, within translation, we, we are looking at a lot of translation of languages in all languages. Thanks. Um, yeah, I, I, so one of the nice things about holidays, and I, I've, we've used holidays in, in a lot of different uh, places in the world, maybe every place has their own holidays. Um, and it's yeah. nice to it's nice to make connections about, you know, uh, different, so, you know, nonprofits, social groups, government groups sometimes, because um, often they, they, want, they want interesting ways to celebrate it online especially yeah. now, especially nowadays 
and it's yeah. a edit-a-thon or, or event is, is a good way to do that. Um, yeah, yeah, we, that's true. We even had the, if, if people are, if people know the Wikipedia loves uh, events, um, they yeah. were they were originally for uh, F Valentine's Day. Um, wow. <laughs> we had, <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> yeah, we had we had a, a wiki photography contest at some museums, and it was in mm -hmm. the, the month of February. And we we decided to it was originally going to be Wikipedia Wikipedia hearts art, but then it was Wikipedia loves art because uh, it was a little bit wow. easier to Google. Um, and we had like a like, yeah. like we, we 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 recommended people to like use pictures of hearts and like love. That were in like paintings. Uh, we, we didn't quite keep, keep the theme, but it, it's kind of funny. That was one of the uh, the original. <laughs> wow, that's, that's nice, interesting. Yeah. We have a lot that's of uh, we have a lot yeah. of thematic uh, months in the United States. It's uh, for some reason it's we have uh, you know we have uh, LGBT uh, History Month, we have Women's History Month, we have Black History Month, uh, Asian American okay. History Month. Uh, so we often have in, in the U.S. we often have we theme around different months like that. Um, so okay. And sometimes you connect. Wow. So that, that's helpful. And I believe that it's the other the impact that we you already looking for. Yeah. Maybe uh do we do maybe Ruby, maybe do you want to give a preview of the, the session that's coming up later today? Yes, yes. Um there's a, another section at 5 p.m. I would encourage you to join us at 5 p.m. We'll be showing you how Kiwis for School is given hope to teachers and learners, especially in the remote areas of Ghana. And this is a new project that we launched and um, I would uh, urge everyone to come and learn from it and see how they can also learn something to um, implement it in their region or country or wherever that you are. So this is a great opportunity to learn about it and see how you can also impact your society or your country. Yes. So that's a KWX for School presentation. Yeah. Great. And that'll be in a few hours. I, I don't know if you can say exactly. Yes. Uh, so that will be in, um, let's say, two hours, 30 minutes time. Mm -hmm. And it'll yeah. be on the Wikipedia Weekly YouTube uh, channel as well. So you can tune in the same, well, not the same URL, but go to Wikipedia Weekly on YouTube and you'll see the list. Uh, and it's on the it's on the conference calendar as well. Yeah, exactly. Any, any final words uh, as we as we wrap up uh, from Ruby and uh, Jesse? Okay, so I want to encourage every Wikipedian. We're here, we're united. Let's keep up the good work. I know a lot of work is already ongoing, but we're still pushing for more work, um, more uh, <laughs> contents to be bridged because the com content gap is still huge, especially about Africa and other underrepresented communities. And so let's be innovative in the way that we run campaigns so that we can be able to yield more content on Wikipedia. Thank you. Thanks. Jesse, any final word from you? Okay, so my final word is um, the community should come together, support each other, and ensure that we, we are able to make the strategic movement for modernization. And because, well, because of the strategic movement of the organization, that's why we are doing this. And we want to ensure that by 2030, we've done a lot of things that we've planned for in the future and making things happen within the organization and ensure that everyone is able to get knowledge for free wherever they are. We thank you to everyone for joining us in this session. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you both. Bye. And uh, hope to see some of you at the at the QX session later. Bye. Bye.